I'm Dr. Swenson with the uh, Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine Service. I'm here to demonstrate the uh, radial artery cannulization technique by using ultrasound. Remember that for any sort of ultrasound technique, it's very important that the sensor, the pad of the sensor, which is this dark area, stays on top of or in front of your needle point at all time. In order to do that, when you advance your needle, you're going to want to what's called slide. Okay, so when I say slide up, I'm actually sliding proximal on the patient. Alternatively, one can use the rock up or rock down maneuvers. So I'm going to place the probe in a transverse fashion directly over what I feel to be the radial artery. And in this case, I'm able to see it almost immediately um, on the ultrasound uh, monitor. Now. In order to ensure that I'm in the best spot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide proximal or slide up on the patient. It's important to note two things when uh, cannulating the radial artery. The first is that I tend to go much more proximal um, on the patient. The reason for this is because oftentimes at the, at the uh, wrist flexure, um, the caliber of the vessel is smaller. And number two, it's much more mobile simply because you're at a, a, joint, uh, at a, at a uh, joint space. The second thing is oftentimes when uh, uh, its uh, radial cannulization is attempted uh, without the use of ultrasound, um, the uh, vessel can actually spasm down, which makes advancing the catheter once cannulizing the vessel with the needle very difficult. So I'm just going to take the probe first off, and I'm going to find my radial artery. And I find it right away. Um, now, as you can see on the ultrasound screen, the depth currently is set for two centimeters. You can adjust the depth as needed depending on how much uh, subcutaneous tissue the patient has, um, up to a level of about three to four centimeters. In this case, we're at two centimeters depth, and you can see that the artery is pretty much directly halfway in the screen, which means that it's one centimeter um, underneath the uh, underneath. The skin. And I'm going to basically enter the skin about one centimeter uh, distal to the edge of the probe, directly in the center of the probe. I've uh, submerged the tip of the needle under the skin is to locate it with the ultrasound probe. And I can do that by sliding the ultrasound probe distally until I've located my needle. And there it is. There's the tip. And you can advance see advance the needle until it's cannulated the artery. And I'm going to follow it the entire time by sliding my ultrasound probe cephalad or proximal to the patient. And there you can see that the, needle, the tip of the needle has cannulated the artery. You can see here the cannula actually abutting the posterior wall of the radial artery. So I'm going to use something called the crawl technique. And what I do in this, in this uh, case is I'm going to keep, continue to slide the ultrasound probe proximally, okay? So sliding up and staying right on top or in front of the needle tip. Now, I'm continuing to advance my needle while keeping the bright dot, which represents the needle tip, directly in the center of the vessel. At this point, you can see that I've advanced almost the entire length of the plastic cannula. and then simply advance the plastic cannula.